Across the country, students are heading back to school, but will there be enough teachers in the classrooms? Shannon Petty piece now on the last minute scramble in districts nationwide. One, two, three. It's back to school time in Mifflin County, Pennsylvania. But one thing that'll be missing from some classrooms, fully certified teachers. Definitely a sports town. Mifflin County Superintendent Vance Varner has spent the final days of summer scrambling to find staff. Has it ever been this hard to find teachers? No, um, I'm very scared, I'm worried. Wow. This is a real emergency in public education. Yeah. I think everyone needs to pay attention. It's gonna take more than just the educational system to fix this. Okay, we were able to find somebody. To start the school year, he's hired nine non-professional teachers with no classroom experience. And a high school English teacher job remains vacant. Across the country, teacher and other staff shortages fueled by the pandemic are showing no signs of easing. There were more than 300,000 education jobs open as of June, up 38% from this time in 2019. Students say they're feeling the effects of a trend that's been building. I think it'd be pretty rare to not have four or five substitute teachers a week. At one point we had a teacher quit out like at the beginning of the year and we just were like switching substitutes every day. Neil and Katie Brenneman, whose kids will be entering seventh and ninth grade, have seen the staffing shortages firsthand. Neil, a local pastor. That's how we do hills. And the cross country team coach will be driving a school bus for a second year because of a shortage of bus drivers. So was that intimidating, getting in that seat behind the wheel for the first time? It is, okay. it is, because it's larger than my little Honda Civic. Katie, a reading teacher, has had to juggle her job while also filling in for vacancies at her elementary school. She says she's seeing growing burnout among her colleagues. There's a lack of respect of teachers, and that is very frustrating, especially when you're dealing with a parent and you're dealing with a child that um, is disrespectful. That is very hard on teachers. There you go. As a parent, she worries about what it means for her own kids. I just always kind of hope and pray that it's going to be somebody that's good in the classroom and is going to treat my kids with kindness. And you have to hope and pray for yes. that. You don't feel confident. I don't. I don't always. You know, I just don't know who's coming in. Go slow if you need to. An uncertainty she and so many parents will be facing for yet another school year. Shannon Petty Peace, NBC News, Mifflin County, Pennsylvania. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.